What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to uh, the Ultimate Fantasy Locker Room Week 11 forecast coming at you. Here with your boys. What's going on, guys? I don't think we have any girl followers. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Hey, maybe. Get, like and subscribe, guys. Please hit the notification bell. Yeah. Super Follow. important. We're trying to Very important. Uh, actually pay some bills. Uh, and we're getting close. We're getting close in subscribers and watch hours. But um, what we need you to do is just put us... Uh, on and push play all and just you know go about I mean, your business you clean your apartment yeah, clean your you don't house have to watch who yeah. do you think you are to tell our viewers how to identify <laughs> well i'm not you don't talking, you don't know i don't what are you talking about identify yeah. just said to play boys all and girls videos. he can't tell them how to identify yeah but you're well, gonna you know, alienate we actually, our viewers we can though yeah we can, can. We? i guess we could i mean so, biz, i know we don't out. talk about our fantasy weeks but i'm gonna say one thing i was three no Oh, were you now? Yeah, I got trounced in that league, but I'm not really trying. I've kind of jettisoned <laughs> all of my uh, uh, worthwhile players and gotten picks. So yeah, you're not you're not doing bad in the pick category. Um, you got what, like three first next year, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think I had three. So we'll what see, league are you guys talking about? The g- the degenerate. Yeah, the degenerate. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but the other leagues, I won everything. So you know, it's nice, it's man. I'm happy for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big week. This is a yeah. crap week for me, actually. Yeah. Oh. Robert Woods went down in the beginning of the week. It's wow. good news for me. I made a big trade for Aaron Robert Jones, and he went out with an MCL That sprain. was funny. Yeah. You were laughing about it. Yeah, but he's back in two weeks, so I'm okay. I didn't need him oh, now. So it's just a sprain. Yeah, just a sprain, and oh, that's so bad. I still won the game. Hey, so. we did talk about A.J. Dillon. Yeah, well, what about that? Uh, we said that he would be a good start. No, well, he's a good it start. Aid, it was aided by, hey, yeah. listen. Yeah. Fortune a- AJ, favors AJ the bold. Dillon is a good running back, and in a lot of teams, he probably would be, uh, you know, get a lot more touches. But Green Bay, it tends to be Aaron Jones. So. I don't know, man. I, Dylan looks great. I, Dylan finally filled the role this year that I thought he was going to have last year. In yeah, Green he's Bay. definitely getting. He, he's definitely getting some. Yeah. Uh, Might be a chance for uh, Jones to get wildly pipped. <laughs> yeah, but. You know, they signed him to a, a great deal. Yeah, yeah, but it's football, yeah. so, I mean. Yeah, but they're not going to pay that much and keep him. They'll trade him or cut him, but they're they not going to. They could cut, yeah. yeah. And true. I think he'll get picked up somewhere else. So. I, think, sure I, will. I, think the trend, I think the trend is there. We highlighted uh, heavily, actually, during the preseason where Aaron Jones was the only running back last year to secure 100% of his team's red zone snaps. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we said that it's not going to continue. It was going to be A.J. Well, Dillon stepping in, and sure enough. It's not going to continue. I don't think that that's sustainable. But what I will say is he hasn't looked bad in – I mean, he's done nothing wrong. So, yeah. you know, I, I think he's still the number one back when he gets healthy. Oh, I think he is too. But I, think, yeah. I also but think I that Green Bay now might be the team to beat in the NFC. I don't know. Yeah, that's the, you know, let's, let's wait. They're not scoring enough points for my liking. You know? You're not wrong. At last two weeks have been piss poor. I know one was Bryce Love, but, you know. Well, you know who hasn't been piss poor? Who? The New England Patriots. Yeah, so we, you know what, we, we, we need to, after this show, we're going to record a drop for this section of our show, the pressing issues. We should. Yeah, so after that, we're going to, and three voices. Hot oh, off the presses yeah. here, hot off the presses. Can we, uh, maybe we it. can do a sing, <laughs> maybe we can sing some harmony. And, oh, yeah, we could write something. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you something, though. Do you guys remember, we had an episode before the season where we were ranking the rookie quarterbacks. Yeah. And I think there was a man at this table that took Mac Jones as the number one. And I think there was a guy who said he'd be the fifth, maybe the sixth worst guy. Who was, the, who was that I guy? think that was Mark. Who was that Mark? Yeah, it doesn't he'd sound be like the, me. The sixth, he might not even be the so fifth I would best have, quarterback. I would, have to, I would have to go back and watch that. <laughs> I think I'm, because I'm pretty sure I'm looking that I my called book Trevor I, Lawrence the I worst. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Oh, that's my book. Oh, I used your book. Uh, yeah. That's funny. No, that's my book. But knowing how much I I've trashed it. Trevor Lawrence, I'm willing to bet that I had Mac Jones ahead of Trevor Lawrence. You didn't. I didn't? No. Yeah, I'm You thought that the guy... And I hate name? Trevor Lawrence. Uh, I probably... You thought Ian Book might even be better than Mac Jones is what you said. 
<laughs> I do he, remember. I think that. he is honestly. He's not. Though. He's just not getting. Uh, he's, he's not, not getting the work in. Yeah, I get it. I think Mac they Jones. Don't, they they're jammed good. up the pipeline up there. Mac Jones does look good. They open but, up the offense a little bit. He's throwing the ball down. To my field. credit, Trevor Lawrence does look like shit still. I don't know if he looks like shit. He looks like a rookie. Yeah, he looks like a rookie. I think he has got. Uh, he's in, intermittent where he has an, a play. I think's amazing. And a play that yeah. just sucks. Let me just he, say, he, he's, a, he started Sunday's game 2 of 12 for 12 yards. That's awful. It's not great. Yeah, that's fair. But, you know, he was against decent opposition. So so the Patriots, they're back. They are back. So They are back. So let me tell you I what. I think they legitimately have a chance to be. I mean, I think they're a top three team in the AFC right, right now. We they, talked about all the free agent signings that they had more than almost any other team, and a lot of them are working out. And they got a lot of guys back that they didn't have last year. I feel like their offense is starting to coalesce. Their receivers, they're finding their you know paths, and Mac Jones is improving every week as a quarterback. He's efficient. I think Stevenson is a better running back than Damian Harrison. And uh, Damian Harrison concussion, so Stevenson's a nice waiver to add this week. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, well, Stevenson, 29 fantasy points. He was the number two running back in the, I think, this week for running back. So, I mean, he comes from a good pedigree, right? He comes yeah. from Oklahoma, so you're expecting a lot out of him. But It's a big back. His, he does one thing that Belichick can't stand, and that's fumble, fumble the ball. Yeah. And, but he, but he I mean, there's no quicker way to the pine but he than didn't fumbling. Fumble no, he, Sunday. he didn't. But you could coach that out of a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think that's like, is – are the Patriots back? Oh, I think for sure. They look yeah. good, but let's not forget who they played, the Browns. I'm Which saying, but there's no I'm, barometer. I'm going on the for, body of work here, though. They, I mean, the most impressive game this year, I think, is the game where they almost beat Tampa Bay on Monday night. Since that game, they haven't lost. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I will say this. Uh, Bilicek did what he always does. He minimizes the other team's weapons yep. and forces you to and the browns looked awful yeah Just the browns looked awful. bad i was yeah i took the patriots in that game i thought they would win outright i did not think they would lay the wood to them that way well especially around them first uh first series the browns would go right down and score yeah so and i thought it was, was going to be a competitive game that's cleveland's forte though yeah. it wasn't well and then second drive mayfield uh throws an interception third drive he gets hurt Case comes in. Yeah. They don't have Nick Chubb. But all of that to be said, the majority of that win was a better coaching job by Belichick. Than and that, you know, that, in, in that case, you could take does. that, even though you like Stefanski. I mean, it is Bill Belichick. But yeah. <coughs> so Patriots back. I think if I'm in the AFC, if I'm a fan of AFC team, right, and we're just the outlook for the rest of the season, I only see the Patriots getting better. I don't see them Let me ask uh, you a question. regressing at all. Because I, I think they're back. I think there's no team that does better with less than the Patriots. As a fantasy football fan, are you excited about the Patriots? I am excited about the running back position like for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Stevenson yeah. a lot. I, um, Hunter Henry finally looked good. I, I was going to say, Hunter Henry, I don't like any of the receivers because on any given week it could be any of them. Take right. your pick. No. Last week they all looked pretty good, but that's yeah. not going to happen every week. But I like the running back position. I think Damian Harris or Stevenson, there's been a couple top 10 weeks yeah. the last few years. And Brandon if, Bolden's getting his, uh, his receptions, too. Yeah, yeah he's, he's becoming the, the James, James White of the offense. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, uh-huh. it's going to be fun to watch them. And uh, what also was fun this weekend was seeing Cam back in Carolina. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, what perfect Gosh. story. Belichick was asked about it, said he was excited for him, and just reinforced the fact that Belichick really liked him, as, I think, as a player, as a leader. I think it just didn't work with what they wanted to do. But if he could go back to Carolina, like we've seen this weekend, very efficient and be okay, the player so he was, ground and pound. They run the ball with McCaffrey. What do we think about Carolina's chances? Then? Tough defense. I think in what, that division. What's their record right now? Five and five. Five and five. Yeah, so, so five I mean, and five. So they and I mean, they, they just laid the wood to Arizona, who was eight and one. Yeah. Uh, granted, without Kyler. Yeah, yeah but the week but before, before they really, laid the wood to, I forget who they played. I mean, Honestly, Carolina, Carolina is looking pretty good. You you have Darnold goes out and Cam, Cam looks like he's home, man. He looks yeah. like he's back to having fun. And I don't think he worked out in New England for a reason, like you said. You know, Belichick liked him, but he just didn't fit that scheme. I think it's probably because they have 
crap receivers, right? So the receivers are going to be where they're going to be when they're supposed to be there. And if you don't throw the ball to them, then you're not going to get them. And Cam is more of a rollout type of guy. So who wins out of the receivers in Carolina? Fantasy I think wise. Robbie Anderson. It seems like they already have a rapport. Yeah. I, th- uh, I think yeah, I think yeah. it's Robbie looked match better than he had looked no. almost all year. Now here's the thing you got to remember about Cam in his best years. Whatever they're going to run the ball, they're going to him running that read option with McCaffrey is going to be. I think it's going to be good for both of them. But he's a good downfield thrower, yeah. and if they could get some of that run action and get him rolled out like you said, or just yeah. have and Robbie Anderson is a burner. I think you could see a big uptick with downfield throws, especially to stretch out. Uh, those defenses that give some more room underneath for your more. Well, and, like you said, their defense is going to be good enough to hold. You know, they don't have their to. Their defense score. has been really good. Yeah, and, and you already saw score forty points. Robbie Anderson, uh, most yards I think he's put up this season yeah. this past weekend. No, and he looked. He looked like Robbie of old. He looked like the Robbie we drafted this yeah. year in fantasy. Yeah. yeah, and Christian, I think he is the receiver that probably wins the most because Cam loves throwing the ball to Christian McCaffrey. Well, and, and it Chuba, showed ten receptions. And a, a Chuba, Chuba, whatever, um, has actually looked decent in he the receiving. Yeah, he's looked okay. Yeah. He's not a good runner. Doesn't no. look like a good runner. But in a receiver, he's a good change of pace. Now you will see some Cam eating into McCaffrey's uh, short yarded stuff okay. in the, in yeah. the yeah. Yeah. red so zone. We, but I So mean, week 11 is part of it. <laughs> are you guys saying they make the playoffs or they don't? I, at 5-5, five and five, you know, you got to adjust to this new thinking with the yeah, one wild game. card and the extra game, extra wild card, extra game. You know, they're actually in a pretty decent spot. Yeah. Um, like the teams that are with six losses right now are still are fighting for the last spot. So I'd say, ah, man, it's tough because it feels good. It, it feels good. It feels um, right. I'm going to say, yeah, they make the playoffs. I also say yes. Okay, so I, I'm going to say no. I'll be the devil's advocate. That's fine. What I'm going to say is this is a mirage. Yeah. Okay. Cam came home. Mm-hmm. The team had spent the majority of the week preparing for a different quarterback. That's fair. I got. I got to see one more week because I can't rinse the taste of 2020 Cam out of my mouth. And it was no. I get it. It was disgusting. Well, I'm saying if you get 2020 Cam, yeah, it's not going to work. But I think they're going to run. I think you're hoping they're going to go 2016. To well, I don't even Cam. say the the level of play. I just think the scheme, and I think they're gonna take. They used him in the way that he should be used. Yeah, he's not. He's on his last leg, right? As far as his career, they're not worried about preserving him for a year. Yeah, run the guy the way he was meant to be run. You have him raw. You, you use him the way you used to use him. Yeah, downfield throwing. Don't try to make him a pocket passer. That's not what he is. And he's not gonna fold like a deck of cards like Darnold in the pocket ground either. And, it's ground and hard pound. To get him down. I understand that they've offered like there's incentives. So he can, make, yeah. he can make $10 million if he goes to the Super Bowl. Yeah. But they also have worked in, like, for every 10 yards he runs, he gets, like, a Versace scarf. Oh, that's nice. For every you like 30, that. He likes for, that. For every 30 yards, yeah. he gets, like, a custom-made suit, yeah, that's preferably nice. in the more, you know, bright colors of the well, rainbow. That's, his, that's what he does. Yeah, that's that's, where that's he his so He's like, going to work. And every, it's like Easter. Yeah. Every weekend, <laughs> yeah, Easter. And we like Cam, and and we'll stay in the the NFC South, and yeah. we'll talk about the the defending champs. And another reason why I think they have a chance, yeah, uh, even for that division because Tampa Bay or Tampa Bay, Tampa might be in a little bit of trouble. Big trouble in Little Tampa. Let me tell you, they look a lot different on offense without Antonio Brown there. Yeah, and that's why I'm not ready to call out, you know, call in the Wolves. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm, I but think Gronk's, it's concerning. Gronk's out, but he comes back next week. Yeah, but then does he go out again? These these are older players. Yeah. I mean, this is part. Remember, when before the season started, we, when they sign, re-signed the whole Super Bowl squad, right? Everybody was excited, and I, you know, in my back of my mind, I was saying, this is an old team. Yep. You know, how is that, you know, is that what you want to do? I don't think it's Tampa. tough. I don't think Tampa has to. I think Tampa needs to do one thing, get in the playoffs and be healthy. And when they're healthy. That would be two things. Well, okay. Um, unless they run when they're for healthy, Washington. Washington. Right. Yeah. When they're healthy, Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, Godwin's probably the top three receiving core, Grant coming out of the back, Fat Lenny in yeah. playoff form. I don't, I'm not concerned, in addition to having a lot of injuries on the other side of the ball, but most of them are not season ending. So No. I think 
They just have got to get by. And I also, I don't think Washington's a terrible team. Never did. I think that they've played terrible. They just yeah. played they what they lost Chase Young, too. Well, did they really? Yeah. Oh, man. ACL. Brutal, too, how yeah. he went down. Yeah, yeah that's terrible. I mean, so yeah. I think that Washington's not as bad as other because I was getting texts on Sunday saying, "Can you believe this?" And I go, "Yeah, I, I don't think Washington's a team." Washington's been solid for most most of the year. Yeah. Um, Washington to me has been one of the biggest surprises. Quite honestly, I picked them before the season to win that division, and I, they have looked well. They've, but they've, they've been hurt. Been I mean, clicking. they lost their quarterback first play pretty but, much of the, of the season. Yeah, but Gibson. their defense has looked ter- terrible. But I mean, a lot of teams' defense are just now starting to round into form. So. Yeah. yeah. I think Tampa Bay still makes the playoffs. Obviously, I don't. I don't think they can miss the playoffs. Yeah. But I think there is there is some trouble. I think the def, their def, their secondary is their pretty suspect, lackluster. Yeah, suspect. Uh, you know, their run defense hasn't been great the last few weeks. Tom has looked vulnerable. We'll say uh, the last couple of weeks, and we've seen that from Tom in the last couple of years. He's been great, but he he has a penchant for you know. Uh, maybe having a, a few lows here and there. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're knocked out early in the playoffs. I don't think it's a clear and here, Super Bowl favorite right here's now. Where, here's why I am you know, worried about them in the playoffs. You're looking at them going in probably with the four seed. So you're looking at Dallas, Green Bay, and the Cardinals all sitting above them. So you're looking at them going in with the four seed and then having to play through that very strong top three teams. I don't know, man. It's... They're gonna have to catch lightning in a bottle twice with Tom an older Brady team. at nighttime. I just think they have to be <laughs> in full Green strength. Bay. I think full strength. I don't want to play Tampa Bay. That's that. That's what I. You know. Listen, so, if they play Dallas, I'm gonna be rooting. I'm gonna be rooting, rooting, tooting for them. But I yeah, mean, I don't know that they. So I don't like them going to Green Bay and winning. Well, yeah. I didn't like them going to Green Bay and winning last year either. Me but neither. they did it. But Matt Lafleur did it. Yeah. He wanted to kick. How much field better? Goal. How much <laughs> better would it have been for OBJ to go to Green Bay? How much more? Sense I don't know. Would uh, but it would have been better. I mean, he would have got his field. stats. Yeah, he would have got his stats. Yeah, he would have. Maybe his dad doesn't know. Like, is Green Bay too far to communicate? That you might think? be it. And maybe his dad doesn't realize Green Bay is still in America. Maybe he thought it was Canada. I think Green Bay just does a fantastic job of not bringing cancer in and wanting to get focus. Out of the media, that's yeah. They don't bring know. anybody in, really. But yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but uh, I mean, look at I mean Aaron Rodgers, who you know, if not the best quarterback in the league, he's top three skill wise. I think he's the best quarterback in the league. And you know, they yeah. were going to run him out of town because he was starting to become a distraction. Yeah, it's still going to happen. So we're I, I like that we're pro Aaron Rodgers. This Next year, week. no, we're, we're not to, pro Aaron. No, Rodgers. we are. We are. And I'm going to cut that, and I'm using I that. Recognize Next so, year, next got year that when nice, he goes to Cleveland, <laughs> you got the nice clean audio. Yeah. Aaron <laughs> Rodgers is the best quarterback in the league. All right. Ass of the week. That guy's an asshole. I hit my nose on the thing. Yeah, the thing. It's is, big. It's big. It's, it's yeah. there. Mark, I'm going to let you introduce. You almost hit my microphone with it. <laughs> I could hit it with something else, too. But, uh, Mark, I'm going to let you talk about who the, this week's uh, special person is. Who's the ass of the week this week? So I think this is probably the first week where we had a couple of contenders. We did, yeah. Uh, right off the bat, you might think Teddy Bridgewater, man, for that lackluster effort trying to get Darius Slay on that return. Yeah, listen, I mean, that was pathetic. He wanted no part of that. He wanted no part of that. That was a business decision. Yeah, yeah it, it, was it, a, it was a business decision. Those That's memes like are when great. You're at yeah. dinner with another couple, and the bill comes, and you do one of those. Yeah, you make the you effort. One of those. Yeah. That's what that was. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Well, no, he didn't even do that. He didn't even make a motion. He was just like, I'm That's not, what he should have did. Yeah, I'm not. He took out his own guy, too. Yeah. Did you see yeah, that? He should have <laughs> did this, but he didn't even do that. But yeah, I that, give him this the benefit be, of doubt. I mean, the guy ruptured his entire leg. Yeah, this would have been a good, though, a good choice. Who yeah. else did we, we talk about another? Person. I don't know. I didn't even see this, so. No, I'm saying, didn't we no. talk about another did, I potential? Don't I sent a few. What yeah. was the other one? Do you remember? You, uh, I think you liked Mike White for. Uh, oh, Mike White. Yeah, yeah, man. And you know what? That was before I went back and watched the highlight. Yeah. So after watching the highlight, I felt a little bit different some about tip it. Balls. There was some tip balls. Tip yeah. ball at first, and then, you know, the last two were in garbage time. He's just trying to – they're trying down to by 20-something. It doesn't matter. Zach Wilson's starting this week. And that's but it. I'll say that it, for the guy that, you know, really had a chance to throw four interceptions, it's just bad timing. Now, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if he starts again because that coaching staff likes him. Yeah. I mean, that they coaching do. staff drafted Zach Wilson. 
That's true. Well, so. Joe Douglas drafted Zach yeah. Wilson. Yeah, but, but I mean, the coaching staff, coaches can be replaced. Yeah, well, they just hired him too, yeah. and he, I mean, just we'll saying. see. Yeah. He's going to be the Browns' defensive coordinator next year. Oh, uh, right? yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so, right. Mark, tell us. So, without further want. ado, we're going to take it back to, to college here. We're going to, yeah, college football. Dan Mullen and the Florida Gators. Yeah. What, what the man. hell are you thinking, man? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, this you, guy. You're going to celebrate in the locker room like you just won the college football playoff. You beat Samford. And you let Samford score 56 points on you, and you were letting Samford yeah. win the yeah. game before you had to come back That's right. to 50, beat 50, 50, Samford. 52 points. They had to come back. You're right, 70 points. They have to come back to beat Samford. And this is what uh, Paul Feinbaum, who I don't always agree with, but this is what he said. He said, Dan Mullen has become a laughing stock. Mm -hmm. I think if it ended and Dan Mullen said, listen, our job is to come and try to win a game, but we're not pleased with what we did, and we're going to go back to the drawing board tomorrow and try to con correct these things, then I think it would have been okay. There's nothing else to say. But this is what, instead, he said he tried to pull the wool over everybody's eyes and <laughs> acted like there was something to celebrate when it was truly a disgraceful afternoon in the annals of Florida football and I think, think he lost. I think it's annals. Annals. I like annals better. I so. bet you do like that, annals better. No matter how you say it, that's got to sting a little bit yeah. right there. Annals, Those words. Annals. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I just think this guy, he, he's a winner. Dan yeah. Mullins. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's an equal opportunity yeah. guy. Let these guys play. But, uh, you know, you get let your players enjoy the win. I, I'm not no, mad no. at him for what he did. I'm okay with his, him letting his players enjoy the win. He got in the middle and danced with him. He's mixing it up. Yeah, it's a mistake. Roll the clip. Yeah, this is a guy. He's going to add the clip later, but yeah. this well, is... Uh, you weren't supposed to say that. Uh, that, was, uh, that was the segue to roll well, the clip. He I can, could cut it. He can cut right. that. So. Yeah. Roll the clip. No, I, you're already... Yeah. <laughs> roll, roll the clip. And uh, This is going down. I don't like France. how he dances with his players. Number Why one. don't you like that? Because it's Sanford, an SBS school. Yeah, now I agree. I mean, hey, man. You, 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 you got to beat who's in front I mean, of you. If you came back and, like, if you beat Alabama, yeah, yeah. you came back and beat Auburn, LSU, dance. dance. Yeah. Tear the, tear the goalposts down. You beat a team in a different division than you. Samford. Who, here's the question I have. With an M, Samford. Yeah. Who put the video out? I don't know. Probably one of the players because they want to get him So fired. now, is there a chance, is there a world where a coach just thinks he's celebrating with his players and it's not going to get out? You can't be no, no, not nowadays. I'm just saying, I'm just saying in, well, in 2021. I, I don't you think you want to believe that exist. your player is going to. I'm just saying, he's an older guy. I mean, you can't even reset your password on your Google account. Maybe he's not <laughs> thinking of the video going viral, right? So he's not that old. No, man. In 2021, you can't do I can't even give Aaron Rodgers credit without you trying to turn it into a goddamn mixtape of well, me you being gave pro him, Aaron Rodgers. credit, and it is going to be a mixtape. Yeah, That's yeah. my point. Okay. My point is, you cannot expect it not to leak in 2021. <sighs> And I guess he's an ass, but I mean, I I think, and it, he didn't mean to be an ass. I mean, maybe he was just trying. He didn't. I don't, know. I don't did, think he thought he it was going to get out. The previous week, did he not mean to say we're not going to worry about recruiting? Does your well, I didn't know about. That. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> does your opinion change if he took the video on a selfie stick? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah, yeah, obviously, so. I don't think he did. But all right. So that's he our. Said we don't worry about recruiting. No. Yeah. That that's our. Uh, I think you misspoke. Butt of the week. I'm trying to behave because. I couldn't share one of the clips because... <laughs> but, but it's called Ass of the Week. Right? Yeah, and I think like within a moment... No, no, the clip I couldn't share, I made a, a off-color remark about... Yes, you opened it with that yeah, remark. Yeah, so I'm trying to be a little bit more... <laughs> I, did I miss this? Oh, uh, yeah, he, he said Ass of the Week. It was funny. Oh, no, it was uh, Tis the Season. It was. Oh, Tis the Season, yes. Yeah. What did you say? It was so wonderful. Um, yeah. I'm not going to share what I said. Wait, it was you're talking about the same guy. He referenced that, his... Uh, that referenced his manhood his, last year. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a mistake. That was. A, I'm, all, I'm all C. <laughs> How was that a mistake? <laughs> no, but he feels that way. Yeah, I was drinking. So, <laughs> anyways. Uh, all right, so you guys want to move on to our games. We're going to yeah. talk a little bit of fantasy here. All right, so speaking of fantasy football, let's uh, talk about our week in fantasy football with a few games here. Sounds good. So what games are we going to talk about? Well, I, I propose we start on that Thursday night game. Okay. And let's talk about those aforementioned Patriots. Yeah, which, I, which I like that they're playing on Thursday because you come off a huge win like that where you throttle an opponent. 
it's good to be right back in quickly. And let's not understate the throttling that they did. They that did. They, too. No, they they throttled. I mean, it There's was no it was bad. Like it was. Yeah, it, it was, was full embarrassing. Throttle. That's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. this was the Premier League. They'd be relegated. That team that they just throttled. I'm yeah. just. And now they get there. to play Atlanta. Big Premier League, right? Guy, huh? He, I, I think he is. He has that look. So. Um, <laughs> Soccer hooligan. <laughs> and uh, now they get to play Atlanta, who I think on paper is worse than the Browns. Yeah. Surprisingly, um, Atlanta's four and six and in the thick of things in their division. Yeah, Matt Ryan is a crafty quarterback. I, I would be mm. proud to have Matt Ryan on my team. Yeah. He, well, he had a he terrible had six game. Six points this week. Yeah. I, he had a terrible game I, last week. It, it, Baker or Matt? Matt. <laughs> oh, so yeah, let me just tell I'm you. With you. Uh, yeah. I had that decision on one of my teams, and it didn't matter because each of them scored. Actually, I think. Matt had three points, I think, and Baker beat him with six, I think, this week. It was Baker, plum awful. Baker got hurt. Uh, man, it's, it's bad. I, I think you're going to have to play on a fifth-year option for Baker because you can't sign him to a big contract. No. Yeah, no, you can't sign Why him to a big you? contract. Yeah. 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 So, okay, let's go with New England, Atlanta. Who do we start? Well, can I say something? We'll talk about Atlanta first. Um, I think it's time to officially call, call – call, Call the year on Mike Davis, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, we we could, but then we had an injury. Who got injured? We did. Yeah, Patterson got injured. Yeah, Wayne Gallman carried the ball fifteen times. Yeah, yeah we like Wayne Gallman so, last year. Well, average three point seven yards a carry. Yeah, fifty five yards. Whatever. Patterson only had one uh, four carries. So. I mean, if you're in a pinch by week, I don't think Wayne Gallman's a terrible pickup. No, I, I like Wayne um, Gallman. I, I was really high with him last on him last year. He's not going to blow your socks off at, no. by I no think means. But the Giants would be a better team if they kept him. I like him better than Devin Booker for yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean Devante, Devante, yeah, Devin, no. Devante. <laughs> I'm sorry, Booker. No, is it Devante Booker? No, Deva- it is Devante. Devin's the Suns. Yeah. Anyway, different yeah. league. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you Kedera start Patterson down week, but yeah, I mean, I guess you still start him. Well, no, I Norman. think he is not. Uh, I think there's a question as whether he'll play this week. Is there? I, is I didn't realize. Yeah, I didn't know he was injured. Yeah. I, I make it a point to not watch Atlanta, so <laughs> I good. don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check exactly on what's going on. I got on. him pulled up right here. I can look at it. Here's so. what I want to know in regards to Atlanta: Who do I start at wide receiver? Because I'm getting super frustrated playing any of these jokers. Russell Gage. <clears throat> Zero catches again. Uh, Zacchaeus, uh, I think one catch, seven yards. It's a good name, though. I mean, these uh, Kyle Pitts, that's the only one that you can put in there with confidence, thinking that he's going he's gonna to catch some balls, <laughs> quite yeah. honestly. Yeah, I but think. Patterson has got an ankle. He was limited at practice today. So, right. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to You know, maybe he'll play, maybe he won't. I guess you just got to keep, keep your eyes on that. Um, Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts. But I mean, New England's going to be. They're, gonna be they're probably going to take gonna, Kyle Pitts out. Yeah. So this week, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's we just said. That's what Belichick does. They it takes out the playmaker. So I think. Pitts, so maybe Gallman is your start here. I mean, sleepy, sneaky start, but yeah, possibly. Mike, just, Mike Davis, you're right. Stick a fork in him. Yeah, I, I mean, they just don't seem to be very. I mean, Gallman came on after training camp, and. Yeah, I've been he's s- out. I mean, uh, wow, it's yeah. been just surprising seeing that stat line. Yeah, I've I've been uh I've been stashing Gallman since early in the season, hoping that he would get an opportunity, knowing that Cordero is not a true running back, and that Mike Davis just doesn't he doesn't have it. Mike yeah. Davis worked in Carolina for a reason, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean that's what uh, he fit Carolina's game plan. He looks awful in Atlanta. Yeah, he does. So I was hoping that Gallman would get his opportunity, and here it is. And, you know, hopefully it sticks a little bit. I'd be happy with him even splitting some time. Yeah, it's a tough matchup here, but I'd still say, you know, if there's a guy you start this week, because I think they will divert most of their attention to to Pitts and maybe one of those guys on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it, you know, they've been hurt by Ridley's absence. Yeah, For sure. Yeah. Adam, do we know what? I've not heard anything. Nope, he's still a non-injury. I think him and uh, Mike Thomas are probably hanging yeah, out. I, I understand. Yeah, I, yeah, I, like, like, I understand how tough it would be to be a multi, multi-millionaire. Oh, here we here go. It is. You're about to get ripped by Phil. I hate this. I hate, I this. hate, I hate this. No, no, I, I, I get hate it. I, I understand the pressures of making more money than 
50 other regular people. For playing a game. I get that. For playing a game. I get that. For playing a game. I, I get that. So I, I, I do feel I have compassion for him. Yeah. I have no, compassion for him. No, I don't. Get help. It's so distasteful. Get, get help. See a con- like I'm all for counseling. Get see a counselor. Well, this is also a guy that openly bashed uh, Brandon Marshall. I Worked this out. No, I didn't openly <laughs> bash him. <laughs> him. Did openly bash him. So, yeah, openly bash him. But anyway, hey, <laughs> I hope he comes back and he's better for it. I do. I too. don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, I, my I only too. point with you that day was like. Rocky has money. He's probably miserable half the time. Money doesn't really, <laughs> I mean, you know, you can have all the money in the world. It doesn't mean that you're happy. Surprisingly, so. I'm not miserable at all. I'm really happy with my money. So I'm just, <laughs> I don't, I'm just you know. I don't know how a guy who looks up $1.2 million homes pre-show yeah. is miserable. I mean, I stopped mm-hmm. looking during the show. So give me some credit. That's you know, true. Because I would be on the right. screen now. New England. Who are we starting in New England? I'm starting uh, Stevenson yeah, or, or, or Harris. But I think, I think, I think Stevenson is out. Well, yeah, but if he does play, I still think I like Stevenson better I like Stevenson right now. Better. Well, uh, Harris is a concussion. He he didn't clear concussion protocol. Stevenson did. Uh, that's why Stevenson got got the start. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously split, split time with Bolton, who is the pass catching back there. Well, yeah, but the thing is, he is. You're right. He is the pass catching back, but <laughs> Stevenson catches the ball better than Harris. Well, he he dropped one at the goal line. That he, you, he did, but he also caught Belichick what, was four not others. happy. Yeah. I, th- I think he had four other receptions. So, yeah. to me, they trust him more than Harris. You know, you know, the lead. I, I want to yeah. see Bilicek catch a pass at the goal line. He doesn't, he doesn't have to. Yeah. Oh, you're on he's fire the one, tonight, huh? He's you the one paying these guys. You got it for that. everybody. That's that guy. So, what about, uh, what about Hunty Boo Boo? Does Hunty Boo Boo follow up his uh, strong performance with another one here against Atlanta? I mean, it's been several strong performances. It yeah. seems like they have a camaraderie. They like each other. And I think yeah, it's, a safe, it's a safe bet if you're looking for a tight end. I think he's the red zone guy. I think he is the... The Aaron Hernandez, uh, Rob Gronkowski uh, guy in New England now. You know how they love they love that tight end man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah if they played the Browns every week, that would be a bonus. But you know, you can't can't like you can't hope for that. So and they probably love Brown tight ends anyway. So we'll move on to the Colts at the Bills. Yeah, Stevenson did catch four passes. Uh, he was targeted five, so only he dropped. Yeah, one. he dropped that one at the goal line. That's a tough one to drop. Yeah, it's yeah. a real tough one to drop. Yeah, they still scored. I'm not going to feel bad for him. Right in the bread basket, too. So, Jonathan Taylor, certified stud. We don't have to talk about yeah, him much, like right? We don't, except do we do like not, this matchup? Do I not think expect. We still do. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to sit him, but you are starting him with some hesitancy and I don't know. pessimism. I mean, Buffalo's looked Pessimism bad. is fair. Yeah. Buffalo has looked bad. Even in their wins, they look they like they're just not flowing on offense like they were last year. No, but their defense is still looking strong, and, and they're holding fantasy studs to to the lower scores. But can they be better than the Jaguars? Sorry, no. It's just a joke, yeah. yeah. I'm still starting Jonathan Taylor every time. Oh, I, I mean, you have to, right? I think you're still starting Pittman here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Pittman's going to draw Trey, uh, Tredavious White, which is going to be a tough task. Yeah. Well, obviously, if you have a better option, but... Yeah. Yeah. I think if you're this far and he's in your starting lineup. I think Pittman has played his way into an every week start. Oh, he's he's a bona fide wide receiver yeah. one for sure. He's yeah. he's talked his way in, you yeah. know, he's performed his way into that. I think he's top 15 in yardage uh, in the league. So I mean, you have to talk about Pittman every week. Yep. I ju- I'm just saying against Buffalo's defense, you're you're starting these guys, you are. Uh maybe not Wentz. Maybe maybe no. a little hesitant on Wentz. Yeah. But Again, you're you're pessimistic about the outlook here. The thing I love about Wentz is what do you love about him? He he hasn't looked great, but he's looked efficient enough, and they're decent. He looks bet, much better than last year in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Man, he wants to win. I mean, the I mean, I don't know if you saw he made some passes he shouldn't have made. Threw once with his left hand to uh, uh, Jonathan Taylor. Over well, this the, is his mo. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he and wants that's what to win. Gets him he's, in trouble. he's a competitor. Yeah, but he's, he's stupid about it. So yeah, this is the problem why he makes a lot of bad plays. Holds on to it. This is what I was saying out of Philly. He's still a good quarterback, but he doesn't know how to throw the ball away or take a sack. He tries to force balls. He thinks he can make every play. And, and he could have cost him the and game because it was a lot closer it's, than... It's annoying. Yeah. I would be pretty... I'd be annoyed. A guy, with, you know, a solid team like that, Fantasy wise, no, I've been gotta, impressed though with he averages a decent number of points. So, yeah, he was pretty bad this week. He, uh, yeah, he was. So um, how about Buffalo? Who are we starting in Buffalo? I mean, I think we know the guys. The only guys I think we really have to question here is 
Uh, Gabe Davis over Sanders at this point. Uh, Dawson Knox is taking a dip here. Well, Dawson and, Knox just came back from injury. That was his first week back. Yeah, I know. I got him on my team. I was happy for him to be back, and he let me down. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't Well, he only got targeted one time, and he caught that <clears throat> for 17 yards, but they didn't throw a whole lot either. Um, That's fair, but Diggs had a day. Diggs had himself. Davis, the day you've been waiting for Diggs to have. Davis only had three targets, but he made the most of them. And Gabe Davis had a solid day. That's what I just said. One of my uh, – did you? Yeah. So one of the guys that I wanted to highlight for uh, for late season waivers, Matt Breida was interjected into this offense to talk a little him. bit this, well, uh, caught this a past touchdown. week. Yeah, caught and he ran touchdown. one in as well. Yeah. Yeah, two touchdowns this week. I wonder how that holds up. He only had three carries, but he only had three carries and three he receptions. He did score, so yeah. um, I'd be a little hesitant to fire him up so soon. Singletary only had seven carries. I mean, well, they're, they're running attack. This sucks. team, I mean, Josh Allen's your best running back on this yeah. team, right? Um, yes. Oh, show. But Indianapolis's defense is pretty decent too. So I don't know that anybody has the game. Like I don't think Diggs has the game he had last year or last week again. Diggs hasn't had the game he had last week all year. Right. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, it's fair. He's been pretty, uh, uh, pretty bad as uh, for his standards. Thanks. What about speaking Houston of, and Tennessee? Speaking of pretty bad. <laughs> Let's talk about these Texans versus these depleted Titans. Yeah. I don't know who the hell to start in this game, man. Oh, man, Texans. Ten- Tennessee is baffling me. I don't know what they're doing in the backfield. Is well, it Nichols? Is it Peterson? Is it Foreman? Who's I know who it's not. It's not Derrick Henry. Yeah. Who's, who's quarterback for uh, uh, Houston? Houston. It yeah. should be Terod, right? I think. I mean, are they trying to win at this point? I mean, or are they I, trying to win the the draft. I know somebody that gave up a second round pick for Tyrod. No, I, the trade never went through, so we're completely good. I just take my pick and go back. So Houston, Tennessee. Yeah, is there anybody to really talk? Julio's not coming back, right? No, Julio's on IR, so yeah, he's so, out uh, until week fourteen. AJ Brown. I mean, I have minor interest in Brandon Cooks if Tyrod. If Tyrod plays, yeah. Plays. Yeah. I'd say that. Is there anybody else? AJ Brown versus. Brandon Cooks. He's got a bunch of names over there with the Texans that, you know. Same thing with their backfield. Is it Philip Lindsay? Is it David, uh, Johnson. David Johnson? Is it that other clown that they got after they released, uh, after they traded away Ingram? Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, yeah, I think it's. Who was the other clown? Uh, I, uh, the one he used to play for. I uh, played for Denver, too, I think. Yeah, Royce Freeman. Royce Freeman. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, he's maybe the most talented of those backs, but. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a crapshoot. Tennessee has surprisingly, they have a great record, but I can't always figure out how they're doing it. I mean, if you would have told me they'd be without Julio and they would be without Derrick Henry, and they still be winning, they're just games. a solid team. And Tannehill's been good. Yeah, yeah. defense so. has gotten better the last few weeks. They've done it without solid tight end play. AJ Brown is down coach, by too. his standards. I mean, he's not talked about enough as a coach in the league. I think he's. Pretty good coach. Yeah, I do That's too. Fair. What about uh, Washington and Carolina? You this is a fun that? game, right? You this is a fun game. Ron Rivera, Riverboat Cam starting. Yep, going back up against them. You see if Carolina can prove it. I mean, you got an opponent that they could beat, right? They should be able to beat. It, it should be at a home. Game, good game, right? I'm interested in this game. Gibson looked good last week. Kind of seemed like he was coming back in a little bit. Form. Yeah. yeah, scored twice. I'm uh, more so than the on the field action. I'm I'm pretty curious to see what happens in the annals of this uh, Carolina <laughs> Stadium when they when they reunite <laughs> that uh, the the athletic trainer that was uh, running a drug cartel under the bleachers in Carolina who currently works for Washington along with Riverboat Ron. Oh wow! Making that uh bringing that connection on back to Carolina. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, he's got it's, a lot of. Maybe old, old friends. I think this is <laughs> this might be a scheduled pickup by Goodell. I think we just uncovered a huge unsolved mystery in the NFL. I think Goodell purposely pit these two teams up against one another so that Riverboat Ron can go in for his for his pickup. The question here is who on Carolina is the mule? Who do you see smuggling that stuff across the border? Yeah, I think I mean, that uh, I think it'd be Robbie Anderson. I think <laughs> I think Cam can hide quite a bit in his scarf. That's in true. His hats. There yeah. could be. Some paraphernalia, some drugs, maybe in there. He does have. He does wear a large hat. Yeah, yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's, He's not afraid of headwear. I don't trust a man with a large hat. What about a small hat? I, I trust it more. Is it a baseball hat, small, or is it like a yarmulke? Small. Yarmulke, small. Yeah, yeah. I, I trust the yarmulke. 
Trust the Yamaka. You don't trust the Cowboy. I do. Trust the – yeah, I do. <laughs> I got it. So, in this game, <laughs> you listen, in Washington, as much as Gibson looked good, I'm not excited about anybody this week because I, I think Carolina is pretty good D. Yeah. I'm still starting Gibson. I think he's going to get his attempts. And yeah. I think, you know, yeah. all he's got to do is break one and he's okay. I'll, I'd agree. He's going to get he'll get his attempts. Uh, on the flip side, you know, Washington now losing – uh, young and Sweat, they're both out. I mean, this could be – Yeah, the defense McCaffrey could out. end up really having himself a, a well, field day here. And Cam, because I think Chase is normally the guy that spies the quarterback. Yeah. I think that's going to be – you know, I don't know who they're getting to replace these guys. I don't know who the deep side linebacker is for Washington, but I think Cam's going to get some runs. Oh, yeah, nice little read option on the end. Yeah. You're going to have a – Cam is one I would start this there. week. Yeah, I like Cam in this matchup. Yeah, yeah I do too. Yeah. Who, do you like, uh, who do you like catching the ball? Aside from McCaffrey, do you I like, like I like Robbie um, over over I, more? Yeah, yes. I think I don't know. I I like Robbie Anderson. I drafted him in most of my leagues. To uh, it was it's been negative all year. I'm hoping that man, maybe that's why I'm kind of hoping <coughs> that Robbie. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. So what about in Washington? Any any receivers you're interested? in? I mean, in? I think you still got to start Terry. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. I think Terry Terry's that he's that bona fide. Yeah. What about Logan receiver? Thomas? He's is he back this week? Uh, he was back. Wasn't he back last week? I believe. Let me check. I don't think he played. I think he was designated to return, but didn't play. That that could be very very possible. Look, I I am dying for him to get back. No, Ricky Seals Jones played, yeah. and Ricky went three for thirty, four targets. Yeah, I I think mm-hmm. hopefully yeah, Logan Andre Thomas Carter. comes back at a hundred percent because he wasn't playing well before the injury. So I'm hoping that they really took care of this because I I think first off I think McLaren will get infinitely better with Thomas on the field because they're going to have to respect Thomas. And if Thomas comes back healthy, Thomas is going to get his fair share. I mean, J.D. McKissick. Yeah, I mean, he had four catches last week. I mean, he's always that scary flex play. Yeah. But if you need him, There's not a lot solid. there. And going against it, I just think this defense is pretty good. Yeah. And Washington has been good, and they've been bad, and they're on the road. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not confident in anybody, really. I, I would start Gibson and Terry for Washington. I'd start Terry. I'd be a little iffy about Gibson. But I would start I mean, CMC, and I would, and you probably, if you got either of Carolina's receivers, you probably have to start them both. Yeah, but yeah, most likely. a little better about Robbie. So. Yeah, I, I, like, I like more, but. I like more. I just think that more Robbie is going to be. More is going to draw the. Tougher corner, Washington. The toughest corner. You're doing a tougher corner. And if Cam's starting, I don't think that's Cam's game. Yeah. The the route tree that and I could be wrong, but no, I, I think the you're route right. Tree I that think more runs. Around. Yeah, I think in the past, it's I don't been think that that's deep pass, yeah. yeah. All right, last mm-hmm. game we're going to talk about is Pittsburgh versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Pittsburgh. Pick, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh, Pick. Our favorite Air Bear. How's he? Uh, how's he doing? Not He's doing up and great, down. Man. They, He's they're been up and down. They're yeah. one, one in three the last four games. We crowned them. Sophomore. Very early. Sophomore slump. As a matter of fact, man, the only person that's consistent truly in this offense is Keenan Allen. Yes. yes. Mike Williams completely disappeared. <clears throat> yes, Eckler has not been the the he weekly been stud. He has not yes. been Eckler. You know, I. I know there was a certain guy that kind of questioned his uh, be me. viability prior yeah. to the seat. What? Don't you steal my thunder, you That was me. I, I did not. I said I, I was said okay. But. Eckler did not deserve a first-round pick. Yeah, but you I pi- did you too. Piggy, you piggybacked off of that. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but uh, I think Keenan Allen is honestly the only, the only person you can really trust here. And if Pittsburgh – now, I, I know – I think T.J. Watt went out. Was that a serious injury? Do I'm not know? sure. <clears throat> I seem like I heard that he was not going to be available this week. Yeah. And, uh, you, you know, Pittsburgh does a pretty good uh, job of next man up on, on defense. I think the Chargers might have – they might struggle in this game. Even though they're at home, I think their offense might struggle a little bit. And Pittsburgh, I mean, with, with Big Ben at the helm, can you really – like, can you get fired up about anybody well, other is, than Nigel Harris? Is Big Ben back? Because last week it was Mason Rudolph. And I don't know if that it was, was a COVID, COVID well, thing. Yeah. yeah. So we so got to should, monitor it during the he week. We should clear. But it could also be Pittsburgh. You saying, thank God there's COVID. No. Put Mason Rudolph no, in. No, Mason Rudolph looks Mason awful. Rudolph is full two levels below 
old Which Ben Roethlisberger. Pathetic. It's yeah. it's pathetic to say that. I it's mean, like Mark going out there playing quarterback. It's yeah. No yeah. offense. No, and none taken. I mean, shit. Forty three year old was uh, what is seemingly a rag arm at this point. Uh, Seventy pounds overweight. Nah, I get your point, dude. Yeah, I get that, your point. I think he's limp. Uh, I'm just gonna say this again too. Mason started it with Miles Garrett. I'm going to tell you, he used the racial epithet. There's no way. You don't know that he did that. There's no way that Miles Garrett, it's not in his character to act that way. You, you don't, don't know, know Miles that. Garrett either. I, I know Miles Garrett. Oh, either. You we're very don't, tight. Oh, man, very get out tight. of here. You were looking for any way to redeem so Cleveland after brown, that. Brown colored glasses you were Horrific. Miles Garrett. Showing. It's not in his nature. To yeah, act so that way. I'm totally with you, though. If Mason Rudolph starts this game, hey. I'm not starting anybody on that offense besides Najee Harris. Correct. Nobody. Well, no Even Clay Deontay Poole, Johnson's no, the receivers have a, Yeah, the receivers have looked bad. Uh, I, I will say, Friar Mouth, if you need a tight end, he has looked good in about half the games this year. Yeah. Uh, so last week, not, not so much. But Are you hungry? Why? Friar Mouth? <laughs> Friar Mouth. I'm always hungry, man. I'm back on my uh, diet. So yeah. Me too. Yeah, I was in the gym today. How about you? You got on that Peloton yet, buddy? Is no. He, have you ridden yeah, that Peloton? Is that thing riding away yet? Raise or? your hand if you're down weight, though. I'm down 12 pounds, suckers. Would you, di- down. Would you have diarrhea go, this go week? Tea. <laughs> diarrhea this week? So, wait, I have a question, serious, because because this is a good a good point you posed. Have you been on the Peloton? He hasn't been. Have you ridden it's it a once? Disgrace. I have not. That's a $3,000 paperweight. He wants to talk about... One point two million dollar yeah, homes. That's this ridiculous. guy's shitting Peloton. Never mind the, the thirty foot sand that he has in his front yard. <laughs> that, that thing is that that thing is glorious. I love coming home to that thing blown up. Is, that, is your wife? Does, does I don't she know if that's. Yeah, she I, don't, I don't know if that's. Uh, so you don't really. So what you're saying is that it was a present for the wife. So what, what you're saying is that she has to maintain her appearance for you. No, absolutely. You not. can just go to hell. Yeah. Because no. you made yeah. some moves. You, he bought the Peloton for her. You went That's petty. Crazy. You yeah. went petty with the hair. He's trying. You know what he's yeah. He's trying to counterbalance yeah. him not getting on the thing. You yeah. guys are <laughs> full of crap. And you know, be progressive. It's 2021 Black Santa. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, Disney's nice. doing it. You I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna refrain yeah, I'm from gonna, any comment. I'm not gonna touch that. That's just, uh, nope. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not biting your bait, buddy. So uh, <laughs> it's great. Can I just do the drop for uh, tis the season? Even though we're not gonna do anything. Yeah, do the drop for tis yeah, the season. It is the season. It tis is it's beautiful. Tis the season. Ho, 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 ho. So that drop, that drop was so good that he actually asked me if that was you and I or if we paid voice actors. <clears throat> I didn't wow. realize last week that that was you guys. That and then fantastic. Man. As I was as I was writing the board the, this evening, you thought I, about it. I heard it. Yeah. And I was like, "Is that those two chuckleheads yeah. doing that?" I mean, sure as shit. We have a, a range. We we when can, you have somebody was, talented involved in yeah. the process, we that nailed was, it. Changes first things. take, we nailed it. Yeah, yeah. And then he deleted. It. Hey and man, then, that was then, fantastic. And then we had to do it again. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. I actually think I, I deleted it twice. And we had to record it three times. But it, each one, bad. it was just got better. Oh, God, so. I missed the best part of that. Yeah. Hey, so I'm since you to... brought up, you made, you played the drop. Let me ask you guys. Anybody doing any shopping? Uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday? No. I'm no, not. I'm still in that. I got it. I mean, that's when I do a lot of my... But I don't know what's going to be available. I feel like it's going to be insulting because all the shelves are going to be... Uh, no, there's stuff available. I refuse to go out on Black Friday. I never have... I tell you I what I do on... Oh, every Black Friday. We love it. I can't stand the, the, the lines, the... This is what I do. Bumping and grinding to we, get the last goddamn Tickle Me Elmo. What's he doing? Bumping and grinding. I don't know. It's <laughs> ridiculous. So I was going to face some guy like you in the back of the store. I don't know what that means. You're trying to box me out for, for Elmo. And I don't do that. Duh. I'm very strategic. I don't have to fight anybody. Yeah, but what are the sales? Are there any good sales? There's always good sales. I mean, yeah. what are you looking for? I mean, there's literally dozens of genres of Yeah, so products. this is what I do. I buy a paper. Yeah. Right? Okay. Sunday paper, the Sunday before. They so still I'll, make those? Yeah, they do. This Sunday, I'll buy the paper, give it to my wife. He smokes his pipe. <laughs> I, I actually like smoking a pipe. I bet you do. What so kind? <laughs> put, the, put the paper down with my wife and my daughter's. I get them real excited about Black Friday shopping. He yes. takes his and men. then you let them go. He takes and his they men take, You're smart. So they take off, and then the moment they leave, I make a big turkey sandwich. Oh, 
I, I read Thanksgiving in peace. Yeah, yeah. Put on the the game I want to watch. That's nice. Snoo- I have a blanket. I, I fall a little bit asleep. Perfect. It's perfect Black Friday while they're out there fighting people like Phil. Do they fight Do gifts. they know that you intentionally do this? Oh, come on. They're not stupid. All I right. just give them my money. That's better. Here. Nice. Here, go spend my money. You know, we had lots of years where we, we were broke, Trish and I, so... You know, she likes, she likes being uh, shopping. Yeah, she likes having money. Just say it. Just say yeah, she bet. likes being rich. Likes just being look rich. down that giant Filthy, nose at dirty, us. dirty, stinking rich. And yeah. you just say that you're rich and we're she, she living in that mansion behind that gate. She likes being, no, a mansion. That security is, guard is questioning me about where I'm coming it's from. It's a uni- uni- bomber shack. Joe. Can you imagine Joe this at guy the main trying gate. to get in with the face? No, you have no idea. It's Joe cool. at the main gate? I know because yes, uh, <laughs> we visited other friends uh, back in that community. Joe at the main gate is tough, man. It don't matter how many times that dude sees you. He cards you every time. He makes you yeah. repeat that address twice. What, well, what you he paying, calls. What paying friends, a premium. So. What, what friends do you know? Because i got to see if we know them, too. Do we know it? No, no, they live in the they live in the richer community oh, behind do. you. Yeah, so look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's rubbing elbows. <laughs> he's rubbing elbows. That's why he's got the Santa. In the I got a couple friends he's back there. Knees. As a matter of he's, fact, he's rubbing he's knees. A, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Bumping and grinding. So, no, man, we love the Black Friday experience. Man. Good. We like getting some segue. hot cocoa. Good uh, segue. You know, so does your wife like to shop too? Yeah, we. I mean, it's it's one of those things where like it's super. It is super. It's crazy. It's hectic. Yeah. But it's one of those things we've just done it for so long. Like, yeah, but she doesn't kind of look forward to it. Right. right. It's, yeah, I mean, I'll make a turkey sandwich. You can come over and watch half of the night. No, she can't come over. (laughs) Half of the night, (laughs) we're all cool. And then, you know, the back half of the night, it's like, all right, this is terrible. Yeah. Had enough of this. It's like life. It's kind of like Disney. After the fireworks, after the fireworks, and you're yes. like, damn it, yeah. Now you got to. Now I got to get on the line. monorail yes. or the damn boat and yeah. get back to my car. Yeah, and disgusting. No, no yeah. tram anymore. No tram. Oh, disgusting. And you smell like an Eastern European what cologne you shop. Painful. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, right. you smell that's like enough a, on Black Friday. Smell like a Croatian basketball team. It's <laughs> yeah. bad. So, so I don't bad. like the Croatian hate. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Plenty of tea. I think guys in America they smell too. So. No, they don't. The Italians and the Croatians. It's like a little bit of a natural. Musk? I think no, everybody has no, a natural No, no, no. Musk. Natural. Uh, Head oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a little. Banging? No, not banging. Okay. A little bit of a. They hate. No, they hate each other, but they're like rivals. Run into each other. Yeah, they're rivals. Bang each other. So, All right. No, they don't bang each other. So, <laughs> so let, let's go to. Uh, what are we doing here? We're doing. I think it's our next uh, section. Right? You all right there, buddy? Yeah. It threw them off. You got them all hot and bothered with the whole banging of Croatian. I yeah. thought he was talking about gravy again. Oh man! Yeah, so we're doing our uh, my favorite. It's hard. My huh? favorite thing oh. that I don't never have the sound pulled up for. So I'm hungry. I don't you know guys can stall a little bit. Jeez. So, so what are you doing to lose uh, 12 pounds? Nothing. Uh, we're just eating better times. Uh, cal- uh, eating we better were. Times. So we're Think going about through. How bad he was. <laughs> I know. We're going through spurts with uh, calorie counting, and now we're back on it. We just had family in from out of town, so we cheated a little bit, but mm. so just trying to eat a little bit better. So this is what I see. It goes. This. This is what. Because mm. I don't believe you've ever counted a calorie. I think it's your wife. That is like we're cut, we're cutting calories, and then you got no choice. It's actually it's actually one hundred percent the opposite. Because oh no way! She's a woman, so she's inherently terrible at math, and oh, she wow. is wow awful. Wow. <laughs> I don't she's, think I can. I don't agree with that. She is awful that at is counting so calories bad. because and so cancel the Mandalorian. I can She find leaves that it to me. Anymore. She leaves it to me. To, to figure out uh, a meal plan. Yeah, that's, uh, that's awful, Mark. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you kissed your mother with that filthy mouth. That's yeah. your wife. My mom. Before you three kids. My, my, my mother's terrible at math, too. I, oh. am, I, am, I am making a concerted effort to teach my daughters. I love <laughs> so bad. I love women, and I think that they're very, yeah, they're very great talented. at math. I don't, yeah. Just because one is bad, I don't think they're all bad at it. I mean, Mark. I would question Tara's decision-making. That's fair. I would question, but I would not question everybody's decision making. But yeah, yeah. Uh, all three of our wives. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so let's get on to our next. Uh, so what's uh, the segment again? I'm joking, guys. It's imposters. You guys ready for imposters? I guess imposters. so. We're gonna push away. Tis the season for you know for a week. Uh, yeah, Rocky, yeah. survive. You'll survive. Yeah, a little bit of imposters. Well, I think we still did kind of do Tis the season. Yeah, we you did because felt the need to drop it. it. I mean, he wasn't even here when we did the first one. He, yeah, we, he will. Any any reason for you to sing on air, man? Oh, I swear to yeah, God. Yeah, you really you I, push that. I envelope. have a good voice. I did. The world is robbed by me not singing more often. 
All right, listen. That's. I mean, I'm gonna level with you here. Yeah, you're yeah. a lot of things. Huh. Singer, not. I'm a good singer. You're not. You heard Mark and I harmonize. It's I beautiful. think it's more Mark, but yeah, I get no, where you're coming no, from. No, Mark, you're not. No. N- you're not even in the vicinity of good. And you've heard me. I don't believe you. Sounded like That's Adam so Sandler. Bad. It's like Adam Sandler. Like, <laughs> okay, it's even me more than I thought. I'm yeah, no, you know what? You made. That was terrible because now I had to make him. I was trying to save him. He was out there. He was drowning. He fell off the cruise ship. Listen, I have gotten more comments than our show has when I sang "Hooked on a Thieling." From who? I got one comment. That's more than our show kids. (laughs) Okay, good job. I'm happy. I got a thumbs up. (laughs) All right, so imposters. All right, what is this episode? What is this going to be? We're talking about NFC, AFC teams. Who do? At this point, I mean, the, the last few weeks have been nuts. Yes. I don't know what's what. I don't, I don't know what's either, up, man. what's down. But Rams, Baltimore, Buffalo, Tampa. What is going on? I don't know. We have some questions. We just yeah. talked about this team earlier. We talked about a few of these teams. Tampa Bay. Are they an imposter or are they the real deal? Tampa Bay is the real deal. Real so the deal. Tom Brady hate yeah. is no, gone. I can still hate Tom Brady. Real deal, Hall of Fame. Tampa, Tampa is the real deal, but this year they are going to have a much tougher time in the playoffs, but they will, in fact, make the playoffs. Okay, I agree. I think I'm locked up with you, Mark, for once, and I think they will struggle in the playoffs, All but right. I think they will make the playoffs. All right. So right on to their counterparts in AFC, the New England Patriots. Imposters? I am less... Legitimate? Less willing to say that they've arrived again. Uh, I think that they're a solid team. I'm going to go imposter with New England. As much as I would like to say that they are back, and I know we dedicated a segment to you it. You said in that segment you think they're fully back. Yeah, well. But so I, what is the truth? You're a freaking liar. I, I think they're on their way back. It's embarrassing. But <laughs> I think that, uh, I don't know, I think, there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of competition in the AFC. There's a lot of teams hovering around 5-5, five and 6-4, five, uh, and four that I think when you get to the end of the season, uh, I know Belichick has been there, done that, but Mac Jones hasn't, right? So I think, I think there's other teams hovering around. Five and five, six and four right now, I think have the inside track to the playoffs. And for that reason, I will coin New England an imposter. Yeah, I think New England is legit. Can I uh, give my two cents? All right. I think New England is a top three team in the AFC. I think they're better than most of those teams top you're three. talking. I think wow. a top three. So who's better than them? I think the Ravens right now are better than them. Okay. And I would say the Bills, and I think the Titans are in lockstep with them. Okay. Right. I don't think, don't think I, any of the I other teams we mentioned England, are better than them. New England would be somewhere around seventh for me. Yeah, I don't see yeah. how you got them that far. And they're they're struggling to make the playoffs. That's tennis, the point I'm making. I think Tennessee. Yeah. I think Buffalo. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Ravens. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Kansas City. Kansas City. I don't think they're better. Than yeah. Them. I still like the Chargers. I think the Chargers are cool, but Absolutely I think that they've not. got a better team, offense, defense. I think Cincinnati. Um, I think Cincinnati's oh, more explosive. I can't say Cleveland, so I won't say them. And I'm putting I'm putting Pittsburgh there at seven oh, ahead of New England yeah, because that's Pittsburgh has been there. So you that. guys just said Cincinnati and, and the Chargers and your argument your argument is that Mac Jones hasn't been there. Neither one of their quarterbacks have been there. Neither one of their coaches. They have another there. year under second, their belt yeah, though. Second year quarterbacks. Yeah. They've got more, you know. And they have they have Solid running back play. He's outplayed. Well, he's average, outplayed. He's outplayed both those. And guys. they have an average size head. So what bothers me about Mac Jones is his head is That's quite fair. small compared to his body. It's just it's it's unnerving. Microcephaly. Yeah, it looks like that uh, guy from Beetlejuice. <laughs> that, you know, yeah, that guy's head scary. Head shrunk. Yeah, I haven't noticed that. So you gotta you gotta look now. You all all you'll be able to see now. So all right, New England definitely going to <laughs> looks like the grapes. You know who's not going to the playoffs. Place. Cleveland Browns. They are not. Imposters. Dirty, whorish mouth. Or legit. <laughs> yeah. uh, imposters. And you know what? I've been rooting for Cleveland. And I wanted to start but this one. But, jeez. I mean, how, how far so, can you fall? So, I mean, do they have far to fall? I mean, it is Cleveland. They I mean, were in the conference championship. I mean, they're year. literally... It's like Chicago plays a different sport than Cleveland because Cleveland thrashed Chicago. Here we go. So, 
How many Super Bowls do you guys have? Uh, we, Here we go. How many championships do we have? We have more. We've hey, already gone over this. No, let's keep it to this year. Chicago has more championships. I will say that right now, they are imposters. Okay. But they have, uh, well, they have the path ahead of them. They play mm. Ravens mm. twice in, in three weeks. So this is what I want to see. All right, go ahead. Well, so finish your thought. They play Detroit this week, yes. which I think they're going to win this week. They should win. They better. Then they play Baltimore. Yes. Bye. And Baltimore again, so, so it's a rough road. Yeah, but Baltimore, sounds like four straight losses to me. Baltimore, well, it's only three games. So I don't know. <laughs> exactly, four, you're going to lose during the bye week. I thought your That's wife was four bad losses. <laughs> I thought your wife was going to get beat by the bye. I think uh, the have Baltimore you ever been beat by the bye. <laughs> I have not. Bye and bye. Canceled. I said the bye. Dubai. You guys have bad. You guys have. I didn't say that. Dirty nasty saying. minds. <laughs> so go ahead and finish what you thought. <laughs> the Ravens had the 32nd, uh, really rated 32nd secondary in the league. Yes. So people can throw on them. Yes, they can. And so what I'm hoping is that who, who we does, catch some magic and we actually win both of them. Well, those now games. that Cleveland has released their best quarterback, OBJ, who do they have that's going to throw against that 32nd ranked? OBJ is secondary. a solid quarterback. Um, I actually think that Case Keenum with. Uh, practice like with an actual better than Mayfield because he hasn't been doing it his well, whole Mayfield's career. Hurt. Like I, I believe better, he's better than Mayfield. He's not better than Mayfield, okay. but he's injured, so he's better. Mayfield's injured, so he's better than Mayfield. It's pretty bad that Cleveland roster is a quarterback that apparently doesn't practice. No, no, he because you're saying with but, practice. But <laughs> I mean, this shows that you played basketball and not football. There's yes. first team, second team. Yeah. He's got to practice with the guys and he's playing they're with. They're all in the NFL, so they're oh. all elite talents. You know, what's your point? It shows. What's my point? Yeah. Is that he's practicing, so he doesn't oh. making practice this week isn't going to make him any better no, no. to oh, face. Oh yeah, the well, well, then no, see no, you're wrong. That's, that's and now you wrong. Sound ignorant. Yeah, yeah, you sound ignorant. You As know. a Why? football guy, how do Why? you Why? Because he's running with the first team. He, he still is an NFL quarterback it. that's practicing, and he ran with the first team last week. No, but it don't matter how much he pra- he's he's handing off to so the then run. Why does how many years in the league is he? With the first team? How many years in the league is he? He's handing off to the hey, running back. We're talking about a guy yeah, that went to an NFL championship. How many years in the league is he? What is your point? How many years in the league is he? That he doesn't need. I don't know. You tell me. How many years is he in the league? Practice is going to make him any better. How many years is he in the league? How many years is he in the league? That was my question to you. Oh, you don't even. You can't even answer your own question. It don't matter. All right, so shut the fuck it's up. It's enough to have practice. You yeah. just, you can't. You're an idiot. No. <laughs> yes, sound, it makes a big difference practicing dumb. with the first team. That's why they have a first team, and the guys practice with yeah. the first team it's, when they're going to start. He's in the they NFL. Don't just do, yeah, where, where? You know who else is in the NFL? Jay, Justin Fields, who up just, until a week ago. Justin Fields. Them. Yeah. Now, Listen, now, so you can say oh practice God. with Justin Fields because he hasn't been in the NFL and selected as oh, the backup always quarterback. Always an excuse for the Chicago Bears quarterback. No. Oh my God. You know who, uh, so Daniel, uh, uh, Daniel Jones uh, uh, needs practice. Uh, <laughs> You're an idiot. You I'm sound like idiot. a moron. No, yeah, I'm, sound, I'm trying to sound like Listen, you. You sound like a, mess. a guy He's that's been in the NFL for talent. 12 years. He, no, he threw practice. a football. Mr. <laughs> you're I try to turn both so off, stupid. You are ma- you're making a terrible a bad point. point. There it's is. driving me nuts. Oh. Well, no, Mark said, "Oh, he do- it doesn't matter if you practice with the first team." It, yeah, it, it sounds so stupid. It's it ridiculous. Matters. Nobody in their right mind would agree with you. So it doesn't matter because he's an NFL quarterback. Oh my God, it's so dumb. And no amount of practice. If I'm throwing is the ball to, to a guy that I've never thrown the ball to before, it makes a difference if I practice with him for a week. You're an idiot. I think um, so dumb. I I, I got to say it's a dumb take, but but that's okay. I I, I give you some. I you know I give him nothing because he talks like he knows everything. Well, I got that's so stupid. I I got to say, I and I respect you but, half of the time, but that was ridiculous. But, that but my is answer, I, I think I think we can look at records across the board. Oh, and fuck that see, shit! You get lucky all the time. See who, see who that. knows more. But my answer is Jesus that Christ. right now the Browns are an imposter. They're going to have to win the next three. Yeah, games. Yeah, we do have to finish this. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to have to win the next three games. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> so let's go to the next uh, imposter so or you, not you're, imposter. You're coming at me. Boy, this is hot and heavy, but I just hate it. Los Angeles right Chargers. Chargers. I just want to <laughs> shove my elbow into his mouth. <laughs> All right, All let's right. go to our next team. <laughs> the Los Angeles Chargers. I think they're imposters. Imposters, yes. okay. They are for real. Yeah, of course. I they think are. they're for real, too, actually. You know why? Because they have a quarterback idiots. that doesn't need the practice. Oh, my yeah. God. 
Yeah, that's a you know that's asinine why. comment, but I'll let you pass with that. I just think that the Raiders are up and down. So are the Chargers, but I think at the end of the day, the Chargers have more talent on that team, offense, defense, and I think Air Bear is going to find his his stride. So fair, that's fair. Okay, KC. I think they're legit. Yeah. I don't think they're imposters, but I think they did take a step back. Yes. They are going to make the playoffs. I do. I think they're better than New England. I think they're better than Cleveland. I think they're better than Pittsburgh. Everybody's better than Cleveland. I think they're. I think they're better than a lot of those teams that are going to hover around that four to seven seed in the playoffs. Yeah. But I think you are seeing regression with them. I think you're seeing teams figuring them out. I think you're seeing them getting a little bit older. I will not call them imposters because they are still are still good and they're still a couple pieces away from being great again. But I don't see them winning at all this year. No, I don't see him winning at all. I think that they do make the playoffs. I think that, like you said, I think the rest of the league took a step forward. They kind of know how to play him. But, you know, they got talent. And if they can just, you know, figure out their line, offensive line, they can score. And I think they showed it last week. I thought the Raiders were going to show them something. So they did. Well, I thought it would be, yeah. Yeah, It was a little disappointing in that game. Yeah. So, all right, last one. Seattle Seahawks. What say you, Mark? I think Seattle's an imposter this year. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I think Russ came back a little early. I don't think he should have come back so soon with that uh, with the injury on the throwing hand. Uh, but with that being said, man, the, the run game hasn't been there. Chris Carson's been out since the beginning of the season. They have nobody to really step in there. Alex Collins has looked serviceable at best. They have nobody else in that backfield. Uh, DK Metcalf has not really looked himself. Tyler Lockett has not been the, the target monster that he's been in the past. And that defense, like we've said before, is no longer the Legion of Boom. I, I think they're imposters. Uh, you know, I would have to say that I agree. They're sitting at three and six. I think they're just too much ground to make up. I do think that they're going to get healthy, and they're going to be a spoiler the rest of the year. I think Russ looked rough because it was his first game back. I think Chris Carson is practicing. They say he's probably going to be playing this week. They have a lot of talent there, but I don't think they can make the playoffs at three and six. Yeah, I agree. I think they are... Uh mathematically still alive my issue with them is what do they do what are they what are they good at they're no longer tough on defense yeah their ground game isn't there and because of that i think russ has been inconsistent there's well, just nothing russ to lean on older too and the thing is like as much as we hate to admit it we said it about cam you know you start getting into your eighth ninth yeah. tenth mm-hmm. year you've run a quite quite a bit yeah. Uh, Wilson's not a big guy. He's five ten. No. Um, you know, I, I think it's it's harder for him to make that magic. Yeah, and I think that yeah. offensive line has has been pretty patchy too. I don't know that they've made uh, consecutive starts together. All five of those I guys. I think that uh, <clears throat> I think that Russ should come home to Cleveland. He should ask the man. That'd be to trade. fun. I would like to see yeah, that. Demand a trade. You know. Save the Browns from having to embarrass Mayfield because then they can say, well, it's Russ. Of course you take Russ. Yeah. Or Aaron Rodgers, the greatest quarterback, as Mark said, greatest quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> in the NFL. Maybe all time. Number one. Probably. Mark said, yeah. He's in the conversation. Yeah. Those so. words will never come out of my mouth. You're going to have to patch together a lot of takes in order patch to get together that. nothing you said it verbatim. But, uh, that yeah. is false. I do think that. You would be Seattle, terrible on a, on a jury. I think, uh, well, like the Kyle Rittenhouse jury. Yeah, you'd be awful. So, it's not that's here. a landmine right there, is yeah. it? <laughs> so possibly top three best quarterbacks in the league, verbatim. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yes. So let me ask you guys a question. We'll see. Defense. I got the tape. So if you're starting an NFL team right now, yeah. who's your quarter, who, who's the quarterback? For this year or for like going forward? Yeah, well, <clears> for <throat> next year. You're starting next year, fresh start. Who do you go with? Quarterback? Josh Allen. I want somebody who can who can be elusive and also uh, be an accurate passer. I still go Mahomes. Yeah, I think Mahomes had a different team with a better line. But for one year, <clears throat> I would go Rodgers. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. If if you're if 
you're trading, if you're the Browns and you're trading for a quarterback that you think can get you over, yeah. have him always an ulterior motive with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Rodgers, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to write that email tonight to Browns administration <laughs> lobbying to bring Aaron into town? First of all, the Browns administrations they don't read. So, you know, <laughs> not fair. All right, so let's go to our last section when, you know, we are really uh, we're killing it, I think. Uh, we're pretty damn smart. I'm, I'm trying to catch that. up. Yeah, yeah. You guys are doing well. Yeah, yeah, you're an idiot, but um, everybody else, we're pretty smart. So. Yeah, we're pretty well. We all went two and two this week. <laughs> we did. Yes. It was pathetic. Yeah. It was pathetic. And we all really, oh, yeah. We, you took some chances because you were trying to catch back up. Yeah. That bit you in the ass. Who did I take the chance with? We I didn't take chances, remember. and it still bit us in the ass. Uh, you took the Jags uh, and won that one, so that actually yeah. worked out Thank for you. you. Um, you took the uh, Broncos, that bit you, yeah. and you took the Browns. Yeah, the two teams that I wasn't sure about. I took about. the Browns? Yeah. No, uh, I'm sorry, you took the New England, you yes. won that game. So you hit the, you lost on the Broncos and the Titans. Yes, the Titans, mm-hmm. sh- the Titans Which, had that game covered for most t- of the game. Yeah, and, talk about... What they do, this is where I believe that the NFL might be scripted. There you go. All right, let's hear it. Las Vegas, yeah. 2.5 points they gave. It's just it's ridiculous. You're good. Yeah. But, I mean, that could swing either way, right? I mean, you could yeah. go with either team. So it's it's tough to say. That's always my counter argument to, to that. You do hear that every surfaces every once in a while, that argument. Yeah, that, they, that it's scripted, that they're, you know, the NFL calls and plays. They try to cover, they try to cover is there Vegas. A less is there a less trustworthy looking person than Goodell? Let's be, I mean, come on. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers. I Rogers. like Goodell. He reminds me of you, so. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't turn your back on him. You know, benevolent, the kind. benevolent character. You think he's benevolent? I don't think he's benevolent. Uh, he seems like it. Yeah, I think he sounds like Well, him. you're taking into account his history. I'm just saying on the surface. Um, so, okay, so this week we've he's got. archetype. We've got uh, Browns uh, versus Detroit in Cleveland. And the Detroit is getting ten. This is this is bad. Antone picked the See, Browns. See, that's what I'm saying. So, like, I would never pick this game because it's such a bad game to pick. Ten points. Do we know the Browns have scored Hunt ten points in two games? Hunt, Chubb, they supposedly Chubb and uh, Johnson and Felton, who was the other running back that was suffering from COVID. Mm-hmm. Both of them should be back. They had one negative test. They couldn't get this, the first one. Was it negative? So they couldn't. Ten points is a lot of points, man. It's a lot of points. And Detroit has been in a lot of games. Yeah, I mean, they really they tied Pittsburgh. I will take Detroit with the points. Anton chose the Browns. Some a loss for Anton. I'm going Detroit in the points too because I don't give a shit how much uh, Keenum practices. Ain't gonna help him. I'm gonna go Browns. She she loved. Picked every week. In fact, most of my losses have been. You went of against the Browns, the Browns yeah. last week and lost. Yeah, you would. Have, oh no, you took the Browns. And you, lost. Yeah. you would. You would have. Uh, it doesn't matter what I do. Four. I'm, I'm losing. You'd be 33 and six if you didn't go with the yeah. Browns every week. Okay, Just next saying. game we're gonna go. Uh, it's good math. Baltimore versus Chicago. That shit pile. Mm. And Chicago's getting six points. Are we in Chicago or Baltimore? No, we're it's in Baltimore Chicago. at Chicago. Yeah. So that's even. I mean. Baltimore's got to play through the stench of murders. <laughs> people people sure being murdered soon. in this Pretty game. sure too soon. Baltimore is <laughs> guilty of that as well. Yeah, have you ever seen The Wire? All right. <laughs> Chicago's getting six. Man. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to take the Ravens. I'm going against Chicago for the first time this year. I'm going with the Ravens. Yeah, any sane person... As long as Matt Nagy is on that sideline and has any say in what they do on offense. I think this line is an overreaction to the Ravens losing on Thursday. Yeah. And, and you know, Miami's decent. Yeah. Decent. And the game that Chicago played up in uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of overreaction, but I'm going Ravens too. All right. Next game. Then. Touchdown. It's not too much to cover. Talk about an overreaction. New York Giants at Tampa. The Giants are getting a level. I don't like that. I mean, that's so much points. Had, a lot of points. had Tampa not lost last week, it'd probably be up around 18. <laughs> Here's what's funny. The Giants have covered a lot of their they games. Have, they have. Um, the Giants have looked, you know, the Browns have looked good and then looked terrible. The Giants have looked pretty normal, normal. every week. Yeah, just kind of yeah, steady. In, in almost middle. every game. So 
11 points is a lot, man. A lot. And I know Tom Brady's pissed off, but he's been pissed off before. I, I t- he's gotten in these lows the last few years where he plays. And it's always some this bad part football. of the season. Yeah, it's, it's always the middle, middle of the season. Yeah. They went night up game? there last year. I don't. Yeah, it is a Monday night game. They went out there last year on a Sunday night and played them tooth and nail, almost beat them. They were held. I, I think Quan I'm back taking the point. So he practiced today. Yeah, he, they designated him uh, for return, I think, two weeks ago. So what do you think? Five, six plays before he gets injured by oh, stepping God. at himself again? <laughs> oh, God, man. Yeah, that guy's killed me in one league. Your league. He's killed me. He's had some pretty freak injuries well, the last the couple other seasons. Ones, I mean, ACL, I guess, is... The one stepping on the foot is just ah. Right. So you're going so I'm, Giants. I'm taking the point. Eleven. They got to beat them by two touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's bucks. Their secondary is very good. Mark, I'm piggybacking on the big guy. Yeah. No, I, Anton, that big guy. The tall, the tall big I, guy. I am too. I'm picking Tampa. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, so it's just me, lone wolf. All right. I think it's a rebound game. I think Tampa oh, doesn't man. like that. They're gonna, they're gonna be pissed. I think yeah. Brown's back. I think Gronk. They didn't like the week before either. They still went out there and lost. Yeah. But I think Gronk back and Brown back. That makes a difference. And in Tampa. Yeah. yeah in Tampa. Yeah. Monday night, the Giants are better on the road. Better record on the road. New Orleans at Philadelphia, and this one I can't figure out. Philadelphia. I is- like Philadelphia. Well, what's the spread? Philadelphia is getting one and a half points. Oh, giving one and a half, right? Yes, they're giving. So it's a pick em. Yeah, but uh, it's I, a pick em. Why, I don't why know do how. you? I don't know. What do you mean? Just, they blew I, out Detroit 38, 38 to 7. Detroit. They followed it up and played uh, the Chargers right down to the wire. Almost beat them. Then they win last week in Denver, right? Or no, they were in Philly. They win last week. I think they figured it out a little bit with Hurts. They're letting him run the ball a lot more. You get a team that's going to be starting Trevor Simeon. They're on the road, right? They're playing in Philly. Yeah, but, you know, Trevor Simeon, he doesn't need any practice. No, he doesn't. So, because he's played before. He's played so, before. the Eagles, I I like them at home to win straight up. What, so what Anton, have the Saints done to make Anton you confident? Anton chose the Eagles. Yeah, I'm taking well, the Eagles, too. What have the Saints done? The Saints have gone into Tennessee and played the team in the league with the best record down to yeah within with, within with a field Trevor goal. Simeon and the Jets with beat Trevor that team. Simeon, I'm just saying so who practices limitedly yeah with the first team there you go so Mark who are you going with? I'm going New Orleans here everybody went Philly uh, I'm going New Orleans too. Uh, okay I like it we got some yeah this is to me I think it, day. I, I do think it'll be a close game but I think it'll be decided by a field goal it'll be New Orleans that win and they I don't know that Alvin here. Kamara is back this week though I'm not sure. But Ingram, but Ingram filled in decently. I mean, yeah. he's no Kamara, obviously. But uh, yeah. Kamara, that was a that was a late week scratch. I think he did something in practice. Yeah, I think so too. So. All right. Well, that was good. I'm I'm happy. We kind of varied on the picks this week. There's going to be a chance for some separation, or I think we vary every week. Though. I feel like a lot and of like, last, last, week, last week we still ended up all two and two. Look, two and, and two, two and two. The week four that three and one, three and one, two and two. The last few weeks we've been kind of close. I think there's going to be a little. You guys are going to increase your lead, or I'm going to catch up. We'll see. Sounds sounds like that's how it works. I think I'm. Uh, what an asshole. Picking first place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming. Like and subscribe. Hey, if you don't like us, please subscribe. Oh, let Still, us know. <laughs> hit that notification bell. We're just some guys trying to make it work. You know. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate you. Peace. Put us on. Hit play all. Do that. Walk away. (laughs) That's all it takes. It's a victimless crime, man.